let's sync up our heading bug. I've done that with the joystick button. Come over here and we'll go into heading mode. Uh, we're going to fly an outbound radial. Uh, we're going to fly the 267 radial from this VOR. So I'm going to set 267. And then I'll go back into nav mode. So I'm using my SciTech panel for that. And we'll just go back into VOR loc mode. And that means when we tr cross that VOR, we'll fly out that radial. Have I flown the updated rotate? No, I have not. Priority downloads. Yep. Um, I think uh, it's funny enough, but I, I'm not a fan of the. I'm not a fan of MD uh, 80s or 82s in the real world, and that probably translates into my lack of flying MD 80s uh, in the sim. Now, with that being said, I do agree that the MD 80 is probably one of the most complete aircraft for X-plane, if not the most complete. So I, I, high praise for Rotate and the quality model that they've produced, but I, I am not interested in it. And, it's, and I've said it before, it's the reason that I don't, I'm not going to go jump on the, T, the 717 um, either because it's Mad Dog influenced, but that's just me. Um, I think Cat Strader streamed the, wrote the, the, the new update last night, so if you didn't catch that, then maybe you uh, go catch his VOD, or, or he, he might release a YouTube video on it. Uh, and then there's been other people that have, that have streamed the update, but uh, yeah, it won't be on this channel anytime soon. You like the DC-9 and all the successors? Yeah, I don't know. I, I haven't really, I guess I have to see a DC-9 stream or a, or a dc 10 or a dc 11. look at that we just intercepted intercepted the radio look at that gorgeousness all right i'm going to start my descent so i'm going to set my altitude uh to the bottom of red route one there's no way they're going to they're going to find us in those. There's no way we're going to find them in those canyons. Okay, I've been told they never land on runway 4. So we will plan on runway 3-1 unless the weather says otherwise. Trial John Fly. Oh, snack. All right. I'll put myself on trial. I'll put myself on trial. Oh, no, I can't. I can't because I'm a judge. Dang it. Let's reset down to 5,000. Uh, we'll set the IAS mode to up to where it is. There's our current speed. And we will bring the throttles back to idle. And then we're going to slowly bring that IAS back. All right, we need to be at 4,000 if we're going to shoot to ILS into Houston Hobby. So 4,000 is set. Going to watch our speedy McSpeedies. Let's also set up our next uh, VOR, which happens to be Sabine Pass 115.4. Set nav one 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 five point four zero. NAV one set to one one five point four. 
Okay, we're 22 miles. All right, we'll go into nav, into the VOR loc. Oh, sorry, we're 64 miles. There we go. Now we're tracking Sabine Pass, which is awesome. DC-9 became the 80, became, yeah, 717. Yeah, not an MD fan. I will say that I really enjoyed when I did the the flight, Gold Z 77 some of you guys know him on Twitch, he's also a Pilot Edge controller, he's a rotate uh, guru, and he gave me a live lesson on the stream in the rotate, and it was fun, we flew around Texas and that, but really haven't flown up since, but like I say, to each their own, right, if you enjoy it, I'm uh, happy for you, I'm more of an Airbus guy. All right, let's take our IES speed down just a little bit more. There we go. 2,000 is pretty healthy in the descent. Blasphemy, he says, yeah. Could be. But this isn't blossoming right there. Look at that. Oh, screenshot. Wait. Let's close the fly with Lua. Plug in admin. Enable, disable. Fly with Lua. There we go. Screenshot. That's pretty cool. Andy Black's here. How you doing, sir? You would think that because you like the 732 so much, you'd love... How is the 732 related to the MD-80? That's like saying, if I like Aerosmith, I'm gonna like Pavarotti. I, I don't, I don't get it. Oh, you mean like same era, classic? Yeah. Look at that dirty bottom. Oh, baby. Both a clock. What do you mean by clock shops? You know, I'd, I'd, I'd probably get the 152 for the simulator, but it doesn't have an autopilot, right? That dirty bottom. Yeah. I enjoy well-made models whose systems work well and fly right. The rotate definitely falls in. I, absolutely, I totally agree with you that it does, it does fly well and, 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 and procedurally systems work. Yeah, it's a very solid plan. That's why I, I, do, I do maintain that it's the most complete aircraft in, in the sim. It's a good view, isn't it? You know, altimeter. Yeah, and I'll, let's uh, let's set up our lights here.
Mm. Altimeter is two nine or nine or four and moving. Yeah, it's rising. Interesting. Let me just start slowing down here. We also got some rain. I don't think it's icing condition though. I think I'm going to maintain here at 13 for a bit. Yeah, I'm going to maintain at 13. So we'd watch our speed. It has a hidden autopilot on the 152? On the 152 it has a hidden autopilot? I didn't know that. Hmm. All right, let's increase our speed or our throttle here to maintain 250 knots. Give or take. You should just open all your X-Plane folders. Yeah, there you go. So, Andy Black, what you dislike about the MD-80 is the missing procedure flow. So, with procedures, you click a switch there, turn another there, push a third there. You know. I can't even really say what it is other than... I, I, I really thought, you know, I'm a Boeing guy. Boeing, 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 Boeing. Then I then I flew the Flight Factor 320, and I, I loved that. I, I It felt fluid and beautiful and delicious. But the MD-80 didn't, didn't grab me. But maybe I should try it again. You had to lock out through code people turning on the auto throttle for my plane here. I'll, oh, you really? I could use an auto throttle in here. Wow, that's kind of cool. All right, we're gonna go back into heading mode. Uh, sync the heading bug. Heading mode, and then we're gonna change. We want to fly a. Uh, a two six, well two five seven. So let's change that, and then we'll hit go back to nav. We'll fly the two five seven radial off of Sabine Pass, and then we'll get ready to tune in Trinity VOR, which is one one three point six. Aren't you proud of me, Jack? I'm flying slant alpha. Aircraft on this air... Uh, uh, auto throttle on this aircraft will be blasphemy. Uh, some people say the FMC is blasphemy also. I'm referring to the Cessna 152 that, that Carinado makes. Severo, I think, is saying that it has a hidden autopilot. Or I guess you could bind commands to it. Because I, I, I wanted to get the 152 because... Um, there's a real, real big possibility that I could actually fly that plane in the real world and, you know, down the road. Also, all planes in X-Plane can auto-land. If you leave the AP on, it will attempt something. It may not be pretty if not tuned. <laughs> I didn't know you could put an auto-throttle in. That's interesting. XAP panel slash two. Oh, okay. Hmm. Would be putting an autopilot in 152 be blasphemous? I don't think so. Is 
Sim Pilot 13. There you go. How you doing, Sim Pilot? You guys click on Sim Pilot 13. Give him a follow. Uh, he streams. And uh, go ahead and tell us what you stream. What kind of content you? St I know he streams a lot of GA, general aviation. So you might dig that. Actually, I'm going to track the other VOR now. So, uh, Trinity VOR 113.6 set. Yeah, okay. If you just bought it today, I think you'll get you get 1801 and 1802, right? I think so. If it ends after 1802 begins and you install 1802, you get both. Okay. Yeah, you can overlap them, right? Forty six miles to the Trinity VOR. It's pretty cool. We're having a lot of fun on my channel making small to medium GA entertaining and adventurous. Nice. I think you're also doing a Caribbean group flight, if I'm not mistaken. So if any of you guys are interested in joining uh on a Caribbean group flight, uh be sure to get a hold of Simpilot thirteen here in the chat. Caribbean GA group flight. I think it's in February, right? Or is it the end of this month? Remind me the date. Okay, let's get down to an even altitude. 12,000. Bring back the throttles. mode February 3rd there you go next Saturday nice Caribbean flying blazing in the Caribbean some of the ortho down there is good and then some of the ortho is not so good down that way but There's a lot of weather down here in the south. Yeah, the golf's not good. I, I golfed in the in Aruba. I golfed in the Bahamas. I golfed in um, St. Thomas. I don't like any island Caribbean golf. I Okay, I probably would enjoy Jack Nicklaus's course that's in the Dominican Republic. But I, to be honest, I didn't even really like some of the, the Cancun golf either. I don't know why. Maybe it's because it's just so sticky and hot or something. I don't know. There's 12,000. Peter, look at the top. Look up top. Look at the top and you'll get your answer. Aruba is windy. Yeah, it's, well, Aruba has winds constantly, and that's why it was, oh, we just broke out. That's why Aruba was really good for windsurfing, right? Aruba is also plus or minus 81 degrees Fahrenheit almost year-round, plus or minus like 6, either side of 81. 
but my my windsurfing down in Aruba was just epic, and, and and it's because of that wind. So we like the wind for the windsurfing, not too much wind, but enough to get us cruising along. Uh, but yeah, for golf, it's not so fun unless you're unless it's in to your back and you want to, you know, long drive it. Yeah. There's his Discord for the the GA group flight. Okay, we're 31 out from this VOR. We'll just stay at 12,000 for now. ATC has asked us to stay at 12,000. Oh, something going, something going on with the school, huh, Jilly? I missed that. I'm going to boost my throttle up a little bit here. Managed to keep the plane airborne. Doing well. They scheduled an evacuation drill and then didn't do it. Oh, that's weird. You had a fun flight into Jackson? Yeah. I like Jackson. I like Jackson in both sims. There's good Orbex for Jackson. And good uh, GPB 500 for Jackson. Am I bringing the clubs to Vegas? <sighs> that's a good question. I th think not. The only way that I'd bring the clubs to Vegas is if um, if, I, if I went in earlier, like I went on Wednesday and golfed maybe Thursday. Uh, but it's not a bad idea. Come to think of it, maybe I should do this. Maybe the, the Global Sim Alliance should buy out a bunch of spots at Top Golf at the MGM and we have a GSA and friends party. At Top Golf, food, drink, milk, root beer, vodka—you name it. Hmm. You had a one-hour. Oh, you had an aviation exam with a one-hour time limit, so I had to wait until after the fire drill to take it, and that didn't happen. Oh, that sucks. Dr. Pepper will be included, yeah. How Computer flying, are you going to Vegas? Who's going to Vegas? And is anyone going to Dallas? Malware Bytes has just confirmed a massive RAM leak. Ram Link? I didn't know that. Top Golf would be fun, right? Milk, root beer, vodka, that escalated quickly. <laughs> I guess you're not coming to the Sim Conference in Germany. Well, is that the one? Is there a Sim Conference that's near. Um, what's that place I've been to before? I used to live in Germany. I lived in Augsburg. Uh, and I used to go. Friedrichshafen. Is the, is the Flight Sim Conference down at Friedrichshafen? I think that I think I may have seen something because they they have a big ham radio convention at Friedrichshafen that I've been to. You can drive from Phoenix. You're planning on it. Ah, well, Cajun Cacti, make sure that uh, that we uh, meet up and put a put a text with a face, text with a face, typing with a face. Where is the doubt? Yeah, it's in Dallas. Yeah. But I, I, is anyone going to the Dallas one? Mavisour will be in Vegas. We'll make sure that you come say hello. I'm thinking about maybe having a little sub sub crab party. Maybe, yeah, I don't know. There's all kinds of possibilities. The rumor is is that I'll be playing Pie Gal on Thursday night, and we might have to have, for those of you who can play, we can maybe fill up a table of Pie Gal together. That'd be kind of fun.
Okay, we're eight miles out from the Trinity VOR. Go ahead and start my... Oh, that's interesting. It kind of had a thermal going up. Even though I was on altitude hold, my plane kind of popped up a little bit there. All right, let's descend and maintain 4,000. All right, 4,000. Throttle's coming back. Again, let's go into the IS mode. Oh, my, spe my speed corrupt up too. Still going strong. Yep, back in the X.11. Yep, how you doing, JT? Malware Bytes has a memory leak, huh? Wow. Uh, B2, I wasn't cruising. I was more dodging icing layers. We started our descent a little bit early. Okay, I'm going to sync up my heading bug, and we'll go into heading mode. And we'll go on a heading of 270 for a moment. And we'll go 280. Not 280, yeah. So heading 280. Uh, it does say the best win is 4, though, but... Drew the Cessna pilot says they never land on runway four. At Houston. So what runway would they land? Would they land one three or three one? I guess it's only six knot wins. It's only four knots actually. So we can do three one. Okay. Alright. Three one left it is. So we go on a let's go heading two zero zero. It was hogging thirteen gigs, wow. Let's reset to 2100. I'm fly heading 170 here for a bit. Fly out a little bit more, maybe one six zero. I think I. Yeah, it's probably not enough precip. No visible precip. I was gonna put on some icing, but I don't need it because I'm down in the south. <laughs> Okay, passing through 10,000. Uh, altimeter is 3018. OK, 
Okay, I'm gonna set the auto brake to max. Just cause that cause I'm John Fly. ILS runway four is in use? Really? Am I getting the Warrior 2? Yeah, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Hello, Errol Kurt. What are you talking about? I saw Matt building a PC earlier, I think. All right, 9,000 descending. I think we'll fly on a heading of 140 here for a moment. Back to show. Have to run to the local brew shop for ye. Snack air must have only local craft libations. Exactly. Yep. It's re really hard to save money with John Fly and P3D 18% and now Just Fly is releasing some awesome Piper. Yeah, I'll probably get the Piper. I'll probably get the Warrior too. Yeah. I mean, I get a $9 discount, right? They, who knows? They may, I may be able to rustle up uh, that up next weekend. Okay, we're at 8,000. We go ahead and make the turn back. I'm going to slow down to 200, 200 ski. The Warrior 2 is the aircraft you got your PPL in. Oh, yeah, well, then you have to have it. I mean, yeah. Yeah, you have to have it. So, was Drew the Cessna pilot high when he said they never land on runway four? Was he high? Never is a word which should never be used. I agree with that. I agree with that. I will never stream Minecraft. Talk to the rooster. He said they never use runway four. Okay. All right, let's set up the ILS. Uh, just one. 11.3 Bought the Mooney with the John Fly discount. Has there been an update yet? I don't know. That was a cool that we got a discount for the John Fly viewers. It's always nice to have a John Fly coupon code. Hello, the Dirts. How you doing? We got one official. Normally you get an email. Yeah, I think you're right, sir. Yeah. All right, we're continuing down 1,000 feet per minute. Everything looks good there. I'm going to go ahead and go flaps one. Even though we're way out. I'm just going to do it because I'm cool like that. There's the localizer. What if I did this?
just bought the B1900. Oh, yeah, that's a fun plane. I haven't flown it in a little while. Did you buy it in, in for the sim or an FS Academy? Or both? Okay, can I put the approach in, do you think, now? I'll wait just a little bit here. All right, uh, put in exclamation predict space minus your guess for my landing rate. It should show up. On, it won't show up on the screen, but it'll show up on the SimStall app. So minus... Actually, I guess it doesn't matter if you put predict, but we might as well get in the habit of it. Exclamation predict space minus and then the landing rate, yes. Like Ask March just did. Okay, 14 out. Flaps 10. Speed's coming down. Okay, at 10 miles out, we'll put the gear down. I can go flaps 10, right, without the gear. Let's get the V-card out. Landing uh, 124. Okay. I can see the runway lights. Flaps 15, gear down. <coughs> Nine miles out. Lost a little speed there, obviously. So when you put your gear down, be ready with your throttles. Nice landing gear view. There you go. I won't go flaps 30 quite yet. Maybe it's six miles out, I will. I need to slow down just... Oh, the weather just cleared. That's interesting. Okay, seven miles out. I can see downtown Houston. No flight director. Yeah, that's true. We'll go flaps five or flaps thirty at five out. Keep up this speed a little bit. 
Yeah, nerf it did. Yeah, it wasn't a smooth transition, was it? There's the glide slope. Bring back to power. Go flaps 30. The ortho looks good, though, don't it, nerf? Oh, I forgot one thing. Arm spoilers. Spoilers armed. Doesn't look like they're armed. Are they armed? Yeah, the ortho does look good. It knows. Okay, let's come back down. I like the traffic too, the road traffic. Gears down, three green. We are clear to land. I forgot how to land this plane. 136. We'll keep that 130 at just a touch of power here. Start bringing that power back slowly. Peppies are happy. We're one out. Autopilot disengaged. My airplane. Oh, that was tough. That was hard. Dang it. That was really hard. It's just a different plane. Reversers. It's just a completely different plane. Yeah, that was hard. I have a hard time with this plane, but it's okay. It was below 400. Well, I hope it's below 400. Does X plane? Oh, we did a really nice flare this morning in the uh, in the Q400 on P3D. <laughs> That's not going to help the average. <laughs> yeah, that was that was hard. I needed to hold it off for a little bit. Dang it. That sucks. All right, let's do this. Uh, flaps zero. Flaps going up all the way. Five, no, really? 573? Dang. Really? Oh. Oh. That's not going to help the average. Can we get a mulligan on that one? Yeah, that one's that was death. <laughs> ground effect seems to affect this plane on takeoff and landing. I didn't have any ground effect there. I just needed to float it. I think I needed to come in a little higher and, yeah. We need a we need a gear inspection for that one. All right, flaps are clean. Let's continue to the gate. We've been cleared to cross runway one three left at hotel. What do I do for a living? Sky. 
Uh, I'm in real estate. I I'm uh, I own about 17 properties worldwide, and um, yeah, I'm a gigolo also. Although that doesn't pay very well. Let's see. Do you know Morse code? Dit dit da. Are there breakfast landings in Simflight? I think so. Good-looking airport. I see. I'm going to go park over there with the Southwest guys. Just because. Whoa. That was a sharp turn. Real estate is the hobby. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Let's bring this power back. Oh, that's so cool. This guy's guiding me in. He's telling me to turn this way. Ah, now I'll go straight, he says. Oh, oh, snack, oh, snack. This guy's, why are you taking so long? Oh, it's because my wheels are... We'll do a quick replay of that of that insane landing. It was a horrible landing. <sighs> it's, it's 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 interesting how uh, an hour and a half flight can get judged in a matter of 13 seconds. I just need I just yeah I just need to hold it off longer. He's blind due to having some of their landing lights on. That's true. That's very true, JT. It's like, I can't tell when you're coming in. I like the aircraft shadow. That's kind of cool. Cajun cacti, no. No, f unfortunately, you're, you're going to have to deal with me live for another four and a half hours. Can you believe it? Another four and a half hours. Can you handle it? Is that too much? Is that too much John Fly? What I really should do is just do some pattern work in the 732 is what I should do. Okay, right here is coming in two. Flare, 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 flare. Ooh, there's even a bounce. They were smoking dubs. <laughs> Whoa, ride him, cowboy. See if I can do a runway view here. My favorite view. Might stream later, have a paper to write. Yeah, I think you're right, Forza. I think I was I think I was stalling a little bit, yeah. But
but it was just was not a good flare. I think you're right. I, I, maybe I should have come in a little faster. Ruined this brand new paint job. Let's see what the tower saw. We got a classic United on short final. 3-1 left. Can you save a situation in replay mode? I don't know. I love. That's one thing I love about the Fly Factor 320 is that you can save a situation and everything is perfectly saved. Oh, that was hard. Oh, I got fired on that one. That was just a bouncy spot on the runway. Thank you, doggo. <laughs> Well, we can celebrate the successful slant alpha navigation. <laughs> the TDZ is a trampoline. Yeah, that's that's exactly right. 